In today's video, I'm going to teach you the proper export settings for your photos in Lightroom. So let's jump into it. So you've just finished editing your photo and you want to export it. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that and how to adjust the settings properly. So what you want to do is you want to go up to this arrow with the box in it and you'll have a couple of different export options. I always go with custom settings. It's your choice if you want to use the preset ones in here, but I would just do custom settings every time. And you actually can export multiple photos at once by going to the grid and basically selecting the photos you want to export. Once you do that, you go up here, you will see five photos are selected and we're gonna do custom settings. So what it'll do is it will load a high resolution preview of each photo because when you're using Lightroom, it actually stores the photo in the cloud. So the edited photo that you're actually working on in Lightroom is not the full resolution photo. So it will load that, but I don't think you have to wait for this to load the preview. You can just export it and it will do it anyway. So you have a couple of options for exporting. You have the file type, so you can export to JPEG, you can export to TIFF, DNG, or original plus settings, which is just the original uh, file format. I always export to JPEG unless a client asks me otherwise, then maybe I'll do a TIFF file, but usually it's always JPEG. Dimensions, I have set to full size. Uh, you can set custom dimensions or you can set it to small so there's that you have the preset so you can use export jpeg small large or original um, and then you have the quality so this is really your choice but say you have a client like a real estate agent that needs to put the photos on the mls you can export at 80 percent, and that usually works fine and then we have more options so you can do all the metadata or copyright only. So basically that will attach your copyrights to the photo or all metadata, which is just everything. So you also have file naming, so you can go with a custom name and you can start with number one. It's really cool. There's a lot that you can do here. I actually do the naming after I export, but that's always an option. Then you have output sharpening, which I'm assuming will sharpen the image. I just have it set to standard and then color space, which you can then set to whichever one you want. I just leave it as sRGB. So now our previews look like they have loaded. And as you can see down here, we can see the file size now of each image. This preview didn't load, but this one did. Um, and it's six megabytes. So I set that to, let's say 100 megabytes. You can now see, or I'm sorry, 100%, not megabytes. Um, you can see the file size at 100% changes to 14.3 megabytes. You can play with the different sizes and pick which one works best for you. Okay, so now that we've gone over all of the export settings, the last thing you need to do is hit the export button, which is up in the upper right hand corner. Once you select that, you just select the folder where you want to save it to and then select export and you're all set. But if this video helped you out at all, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. That way you're updated when I create new videos. And also please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. That way it ranks higher in the algorithm. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.